instruction video provides a quick overview for setting up a dual lane test track with the Eliminator NextGen. Each test track system arrives from PorterTree with the correct setup installed. This tutorial describes how to modify a dual lane setup if you need to add or remove sensors. To begin, let's enter test track mode. Simply touch the left or right arrow until test track is displayed and then touch the test track icon. At this point, if you are not adding or removing sensors, you can simply touch Last Setup. If you are making modifications, as we are, you must touch Dual Lane. It is very important that you select the correct option for the wiring harness that you have purchased. A single lane wiring harness will not work properly if the Eliminator Next Gen is in Dual Lane mode. A dual lane wiring harness will not work with the Eliminator Next Gen in Single Lane mode. If you're not sure which wiring harness you have purchased, consult your instructions or contact PortaTree. The Eliminator Next Gen Dual Lane Test Track supports pre-stage, stage, mile per hour, and finish elapsed time sensors. A guard beam, also known as a start beam, can be used with the system, but when guard beams are enabled, mile per hour is only collected as an average between the start and finish line sensors. When guard beams are enabled, stage beams can be disabled. However, either guard beams or stage beams must be enabled for the dual lane test track to work properly. When stage beams are disabled, pre-stage beams are automatically disabled as well. Mile per hour is only available when finish line sensors are enabled. Mile per hour can be changed to kilometers per hour by tapping the label. Changing from mile per hour to kilometers per hour also changes the speed trap distance from feet to meters. The speed trap distance can be modified by tapping the distance box. If your test track system includes a time slip printer or an external display, you can enable each of these from the dual lane setup menu. These items can also be enabled from the test track race screen. Once your dual lane test track is configured, you can touch save to enter the test track race screen. Thanks for watching this instruction video on setting up a dual lane Eliminator Next Gen test track. If you have any questions on a specific setup option, check out the instruction manual, send us an email, or give us a call. Please check out the other instruction videos for Eliminator test tracks at www.portertree.com.